15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Alright man, 15 minutes of fame. 15 minutes of fame. Get DNA. money. Get money and drink fucking water. Get yeah. money and drink yeah. water. What's popping? Yeah, we bro? here, baby. We here. Fresh. Literally yeah. fresh off the stage. Yeah, and it's just the beginning too. Oh. oh, talk to me, man. I mean, I told y'all what I was coming to do, man. I came to do what I I did what I came to do. Shit. Now, now, though. And uh, with all that being said, I still don't know how to drop. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know if that, that that meant anything, but yeah, I do not know how to use a motor vehicle. Salute. Uh, are you giving them any rounds? Nah, Let's not, start there. I mean, not me. When I walk around a building, I'm going to check the tweets because, you know, I'm going to see what it's saying. But in the building, they, everybody came up to me and said third. And they said the only debatable round was one. Okay. How do, how do you feel about the first round? Do you think it was uh, debatable? Was, he, yeah, I, was I, that I, his I, best I, round? See, what I try to do, what I've learned from my JC battle, and uh, yeah, JC on, I don't ever make my first round the most explosive. Right. I used to do that, and then that used to be my problem, where I don't have nothing to go matching that after. So now, now I make my first good enough to keep me in the game, but I turn up in the second, take off in, um, take off in the third. Same thing that I did with Mickey. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I started with the first. First was good, then the second was like, oh my God. And then the third was like the closest. So I, I used that same formula with this battle. But um, shout out to Verb though for taking the battle. You know what I'm saying? He's a legend. I don't, you know what I'm saying? The battle's over. I, I don't come at niggas or diss them after we, we battle. So you, don't, you ain't gonna see me say nothing else unless it's promoting this. But salute the Verb, stand up dude. You know what I'm saying? Took the battle, we did the battle, we made it happen. It was a grudge match. I mean, people was talking about it for a long time. So. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Was the timing right? Because this started so long ago. I mean, I mean, I feel like, yeah, because I feel like, I'm not going to lie, the way Verb used to, like, I always be saying that, like, the way Verb used to rap, I feel like it would have been more difficult for me back in the day, like, a couple years ago, because he was, like, more funny, more, like, charismatic, and I, I didn't incorporate that in my, um, like, in my rhymes then. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like I'm, I'm getting to the best DNA. And um, he just battled Mook and Lux, and they was, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, uh, crazy performances on his behalf, so, you know what I'm saying? I felt like now was the good time to do it. Like, how, how different was this bird versus Lux? I mean, I think he was doing the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. when I was telling people going into the battle, I was saying I felt like he had a better chance on a big room. You know what I'm saying? It's the same material that he had for, uh, Lux and Moon. But on a big stage, the rapidness makes you catch one in a small room. Like, they really want to hear lines. Now, knowing originally that's what you said, like, he wanted to do it in a small room. He yeah. was like, wrong move, you know? So, it, it, did, it, did it play out that way on paper for you now? Yeah, I feel like that. Like, I feel like everybody that calls me out to the small room, it never goes the way they want it to go. I don't want to, like, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I got better as a writer, so pulling that card of me understanding, like that's the thing. Once I need to understand something, I'ma figure it out. That's just in life. If I, same way niggas is saying, yo, you don't know how to drive, that's the difference with other people than me. When you tell me I can't do something or something I see you doing, I fix that. I bet you next time this year when we in this conversation, I'll be driving the car that Hello? I bought. Yeah, I'm, I, I bet. This is just me. This is just who I am as a person. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I'm bothered by it, but it is true. Like, I was already working on that, but now saying that, it's like, why am I not? You know what I'm saying? So, that, that's good. That's good. He, did, he told me a lesson with that. See, I could admit that. So, I go back to saying, with writing, if you challenge me feeling like I can't do something, I'm going to always meet that requirement and do it. So, I feel like it's a challenge. That's what I base with. Oh, I can't beat you here? Oh, okay, cool. Then I'm going to come <laughs> over here and show you that that's what I could do. Thank you very much for your time, brother. Salute, man. And, uh, another now, good night. Another good night. Now, tomorrow I get to enjoy myself um, watching day two. And um, Christmas is coming up. Salute. <laughs> 15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go. Let's go.